Hi, I'm Reese. I have learned a lot of strategies from Breathwork 614. I've also learned a lot of things about limiting beliefs. A limiting belief is something that, say, you think you're really good at art skills, but then you see someone who's better than you, so you stop doing it because you think you're not good enough. So I have an analogy. Let's say these are all the layers of your life. better at public speaking than you are. So, you simply stop doing it. Let's say you think you're really good at coking, but someone's better than you, so let's, so you stop doing it. Let's say you're in social situations that are really hard for you to handle, so you just simply start to avoid them. These limiting beliefs do not help you now your life is really small and you can no longer achieve and live the life you want to live. So instead of just coming and plopping the whole thing and just trying to make it all perfect at once, why don't we do one at a time? Like first, let's do social situations. You start to come back to those and you start to say, it's okay, I'm good enough, I can do this. And then say, once you achieve that, let's move on to cooking. So say we have cooking, let's um, practice, let's practice, let's say we're good enough, let's say I can let my ability shine, I'm good just the way I am, and then after we do that one, once you get that one well, we can move on to public speaking. So let's put public speaking, and then once you do that, you put public speaking on, because you practiced, you said you can let my ability shine, and you said you're good enough, and that you do just as well as everyone else. And then look, boom, you have now created your new life. Also, another helpful tip that I learned is to always use your breath, because they will help you achieve all of these, like public speaking, cooking, social situations, and art skills, like what I mentioned in the intro. Thanks for listening in. I hope you live the life that you, that you desire. Bye!